We're just one week away from Valentine's Day, and if you're looking for a fun and creative date night, there's a new pottery studio in Little Rock that could be the perfect place. Fox 16's Claire Kreitz joins us live this morning from the Muddy Pig Studio with more on what they have to offer. Good morning, Claire. Hey, good morning, Ashley. So I'm here with Allie, the owner here at the Muddy Pig, and tell me a little bit about your pottery studio. Hey, so we are only, we're not even a month old yet. We just opened on January 17th, um, and we are the sister studio to the Painted Pig, which has been around for 15 years now, but we, after being asked for so many years, like, at that studio, like, do y'all do, you know, pottery wheels and things? We were, like, finally, like, we've got to open up a studio just for that, because there's the demand, the demand is there, and it's so fun, and, um, just something completely different that Little Rock doesn't really have, so. What has it been like venturing into this side of it, and what has the first month been like? Oh, it's been a little crazy. Um, you know, we're all, this is a brand new concept for us, so we're just still trying to figure out, you know, how many classes to put out there, and, um, you know, the best way to do all of the things. Like, I've opened a studio before, so I know, like, there's, you know, different ways to do certain processes and things so we have a little bit of background but it, it's a completely different animal it really is because the other studio we do a lot of walk-ins but here it's more of class-based so telling people like no go to our website and book a time or a private lesson or class um, so that's been a little bit of a um, getting taken a little bit of getting used to but it's a lot of fun so and tell me a little bit about some of the classes you do offer in private lessons things like that yeah, so um, we offer private lessons, which, um, you know, we can do anytime during studio hours. We also have um, classes that are one-time classes that are available that we usually do, like Friday evening, Saturday evening, and then Sunday afternoons every week. So, um, and those are just one-time classes where you can just try it, kind of like you're doing today. Um, and then you would... Um, You'll make it, and then we will do all the other things. So, like, trimming it later and adding the glaze color that you'll pick out. Um, so, that's kind of like one trip for you. But if you really like it and you want to learn more, we have eight-week classes as well for adults. And then we have six-week classes for kids that are starting this week. Um, the eight-week classes for adults are starting in a couple weeks. So, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. We also do a lot of date nights. Um, so, we just got some of those on the calendar as well. Perfect. Well, in the next half hour, I'll be getting a crash course. I've been practicing a little bit, so we'll see uh, how good my skills are. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys All in the right, studio. All right, looking forward to that. Speaking of Valentine's Day, if you're still looking for the perfect date night ahead of Valentine's Day, well, this week we are highlighting some of the fun ways that you can treat your significant other. Yeah, that's right. This morning, we're going to show you how you can channel your, your inner, inner Demi Moore and Patrick <laughs> Swayze with Fox 16's Claire Kreitz. Love at the M Muddy Pig Studio. Now, Claire, I'm not going to lie. Not a huge fan of that scene, but I love the song. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the scene. How do you not like that scene? It's a classic. All right, yeah, I'm here with Emily. She's an instructor here, and you're going to put us through a crash course. So let's talk about what you got to start with. Okay, first you're going to put your clay into the center of your wheel. I spin it and make sure to hit it and get it close to the center. And then you're going to start centering. So that will be just a motion of coning the clay up and down to get it as close to the center of your wheel as possible. And how important is this step in the whole process? It is the most important part. It's also the hardest part, so it's okay if it takes you a little bit of time. Okay, so right now you're coning up, mm -hmm. and then you'll push down. And how important is it for it to be in the center? It's, that's the most important thing because whenever you start to open it up and pull it up, your walls are not going to be the same width and then it's going to be wonky and uneven, so it's really important. Yeah, I've seen firsthand how bad it can be if you are not centered. <laughs> um, how long does it take for people to get this part of it? Um, usually, usually a few minutes. Sometimes it's easier to just kind of try it out and then move on so you get to get the full experience because this 
does take a long time. It's easier just to kind of go for it and go all in rather than working on one thing for a really long time. All right, perfect. Well, in the next half hour, we will actually be making these into cups, mugs, things like that, or in my case, maybe little, you know, ring ring jars because I just don't get that far. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, looking forward to see what she ends up making. You know, it's funny because she did like a practice one. You yeah. saw like the table with all the really nice cups mm -hmm. and then the one that looked like a star, that yeah. was Claire's. Oh, that <laughs> yeah. one was hers? Yeah. A star? Yeah. A star? I, I don't think she was yeah. planning for oh, that to happen. Okay. Yeah. I think it might have tipped over. Oh, yeah. 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 Its own way. yeah. yeah. <laughs> but are we going to be playing some Unchained Melody Rants? I, I sure will. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And speaking of Valentine's Day, we are just one week away. And if you're looking for fun and creative date nights, there's a new pottery studio in Little Rock that could be the perfect place. Fox 16's Claire Kreitz has been getting a tour of the Muddy Pig Studio. Claire, have you made anything yet? Hey, good morning, Ashley. Um, yes. I have made some some things, but I'm not going to show you those because only one turned out good. But we're continuing to try. So Emily is going to tell me how to do this. And I do have to use my hands. So we have to put the mic. We have to get creative here. So, all right. How do we do this? So your next thing is going to be to open it up. Okay. So you're going to take your one finger. Okay. Put it in the center. Uh-huh. And then press down. Okay. Making sure to keep your finger wet and make sure your finger's nice and balanced. Press down and, okay, make sure to keep it balanced. You go down until you get about half an inch above your wheel. Go down until you get about half an inch above your wheel. Okay. And then you'll go back in with two fingers. Okay, go back in with two fingers. Woo! <laughs> Makes me nervous. Okay, go back in with two fingers. Got it. And okay. Then slowly pull your fingers apart. Slowly pull your fingers apart. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. Keep going. Keep pulling them apart. Good. I think um, you don't want to go too far, so I think okay. that was probably good. We don't want to go too far, so this is probably good, but I will have to send it back to you guys in the studio before we complete this because I want to make sure I don't mess it up on live TV. But in the next half hour, you'll see exactly how well I did. This week, we are highlighting some of the fun things that you can do to treat your significant other. And this morning, we're showing you and how you can channel your inner Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze. Fox 16's Claire Kreitz is live at Muddy Pig Studio. Claire, please tell me you got a little bit better. <laughs> Hey, good morning, guys. Yes, I got better. I'll have TJ pan down to some of my uh, early projects. And then, you know, once you keep going down the line, the last one, definitely the best one. Pretty, pretty good. I got better, right? You did. It's really awesome to see the, you know, you kept practicing and you kept at it and it paid off. Yeah, Troy sold me out earlier, so I had to put my little star piece over there. But that's something that you can do to make it look a little bit better, too. Yeah, if the edges get a little wonky, if it start, you know, kind of starts looking like it's going to fall, that's one of our little tricks if you want to be able to keep it, is kind of give it a little fancy edge or something like that. I kind of think it looks like something from the sea, like yeah. a sea anemone or whatever. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So how do you get it to, from this stage to these beautiful pieces over here? Okay, so um, the pieces that we made today, we're going to let them dry, and then maybe tomorrow we would trim them. And I just trimmed this piece right here. So it's a little bit drier, and then you can take some tools. And this is something that we have our instructors do. This is not something you would do at a try it, but like if you did our eight-week class, then we would go into it. But, um, but we trim the piece so it has a foot, and then we put your initials on it. And so, see, it's just a little bit uh, darker because it's a little wet, but um, once it's fired, then it'll look like these white pieces. So once it's bisque fired, Fired, then it can be glazed and then fired again. So the whole thing takes about three to four weeks um, because it has to dry and then be, you know, all of this extra work to go put into it. But the pieces turn out really great. And some of the things from this Try It Nice from, you know, people's first tries have been really, really awesome. So awesome. Well, I had a great time. Thanks for having me. Definitely check out the Muddy Pig. You have to come take a class. I know I'll be back, but for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.
that progression, though. I, I'm really proud of Claire. I, I am, too, because it was starting off a little shaky. <laughs> Hard work pays <laughs> off, folks. Yeah. Yes. Claire Kreitz pottery class yeah. is a perfect example of that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she is, she's learning, obviously, from those mistakes, right? Yeah. So it can't be a mistake, right? She's making all those improvements. Right. And that is something really fun to do. And, yes, it is Valentine's weekend coming up.